So since I last posted my video where I basically told you all that I knew about Bath University as a student myself, I've had a lot of questions in my comments and on Instagram in my DMs. So we all know that quick fire question trend that was going around a while back. I'm basically going to take that and I have collected all the questions that I've received since that video into this one. So we're going to do a quick fire Q&A style video about student life, Bath University specifically or just in general. And I'm going to hopefully answer those questions and I'm going to be 100% honest with everything I say. If you want more like this, feel free to give me questions in the comments or message me on Instagram and I will be making lots more videos in the future, so subscribe if you want to see more. So question number one is, what is the best accommodation on the Bath University campus? Now I've sort of touched upon this before in my other video, so I'm not going to go too far into it, but my personal favourite was Marlborough. Now I may be a little biased, but I thought that Marlborough was amazing, I loved it there. I need to remember this is quick fire, I have a tendency to ramble, so we're going to make this quick. Is the nightlife really bad? No, it's not really bad. You just need to make sure you manage your expectations and make it your own because if you're going in thinking, oh, this is going to be a bad night out, the likelihood is it's probably going to be a bad night out. But if you go in with a great group of people, make it your own night, it will be absolutely fine when Corona allows them to open again. 21st of June, come on! Is it hard to find housing in second year? So I'm currently in my second year right now at Bath and I say I found a house by December I think so by the time that I'd come back for Christmas I already had a house sorted, contract signed, deposit paid etc. I will be doing a video on accommodation in first year and second year soon so keep an eye on my channel if you're interested in seeing something like that or if you have any specific questions for that let me know. In a way they had a tendency to go quickly but if you just don't worry too much there will definitely be something out there for you and you won't need to worry. Do you have to be good at sports to join a team? No, again in my other video I touched on this but at Bath they have any levels available you can join either just for fun or as a team and they're completely happy to accept anyone of any skill level in their sports clubs. How easy is it to make friends at Bath Uni? I would say the principle for this goes for most unis so it's not like one uni it would be harder to make friends than another but in my experience literally within the first few days of freshers you're meeting people all around you you will find people that are on your wavelength and that you get on with. My best advice is to just go and do absolutely everything you can make the most of every opportunity whether that's going to societies clubs, using Facebook group chats so you can get to know people before actually going to uni, stuff like that is really useful. Is Bath expensive? I would say compared to some other areas it will be a bit more on the pricier side. I wouldn't say it's completely unmanageable but it is compared to some other cities that I went to for a university. Where are your top three places to go in Bath? So for me personally, that is a good question. It, it depends what I want, but the first things that come to mind are Alexandra Park, because I just absolutely love a view, especially when there's a sunset, I'm just obsessed with that. You've got Victoria Park, I would say that's another one I love to go to. Again, but if you're not necessarily wanting to go somewhere outside. And then I'll say, because also I love going for drinks and stuff like that, and they have a really nice slug of lettuce in Bath, so I'd probably say my third one would be slug of lettuce. Fingers crossed it'll be open again soon when it's safe. What's one thing you don't like about living in Bath? So, it's hard because I absolutely love it, and I don't think I would change anything about my university experience so far, but I guess the only downside that I have come across is probably accommodation being a tad more expensive. More in the sense that, for example, when it does come to housing and accommodation, what you pay for a room in Bath might get you something a little bit better somewhere, perhaps up north or anything like that. But apart from that, I still love it and I wouldn't, as I said, I wouldn't change it. What's one thing you love about living in Bath? I quite like being in a city, but it's not like Manchester or London. It's kind of got the best of both worlds in the sense that you've got some really nice green areas, but then it's got a good set of like shops, places to eat, places to have drinks, without it being too much of a hustle and bustle of a city. And it's quite easy to get places as well. So that's one thing I love about living there. How many people are there in your lectures? So for me, being a psychology student, Student, I would generally say, corona aside, I would say I have about 200 people on my course, One two, between 150 and 200 people on, on psychology course. Obviously it varies between subjects, but I know that one we used to have quite, quite big lectures and big lecture halls, but obviously you do have seminars as well where you're split up into smaller groups, so it's not massive groups the whole time. Where is your favourite place to go on campus? Like I've said before, I absolutely love the campus, it's really easy to get around. On a nice day, so we're talking outside space, they've got quite a nice 
little area on the lake again like got the grass people would often sit there on the benches or have some lunch in the summer but when it's not as nice out and you don't really want to be sat outside i would say the su is probably a classic because it, the su at bars the plug in the tub literally doubles up as all sorts of things it, it'll be cocktails one night it'll be class another night it'll be a quiz or you can just go to play pool like it's got it all so that's probably one of the other places i like to go how many contact hours do you have so if i remember rightly when i was doing psychology in first year i had about eight to ten hours week by week and I would say it's probably around the same as that this year, even with online lectures happening. I know for psychology, there are probably less contact hours than some others. For example, if you're looking to do engineering at Bath, I know people that do engineering and seem to be in lectures all the time. But yeah, that's something that you, you'll you come to know when you, when you join the uni. Which is better, Marlborough and Salisbury or quads? I sort of answered this before. <laughs> If anyone doesn't know, there's a bit of a running joke about like rivalry between the accommodation blocks. I would obviously say Marlborough and Salisbury because I lived there in my first year, but at the end of the day, both are still pretty good places to live in your first year for course, so. Was Marlborough Court your first choice accommodation? It was my first choice accommodation. If I remember rightly, you're only allowed to put a certain number of ensuite rooms down, because as with most unis for Bath, you have to put a kind of ranking of rooms you'd most like to have and then least like to have. And unfortunately, it's not guaranteed you get your first so I feel very lucky that I managed to get a room in Marlborough but I know that's not always the case for some people. What's one thing you wish you knew before going to uni? I wish I would know not to worry so much. It's very easy to slip into the mindset of oh my god this is going to be awful, like it's all going to go wrong, what am I going to do, what if I don't like where I live and everyone just gets into a bit of a panic. However, after going to uni, trust me when I say you will find yourself in the best way possible in university if you make the most of what is available to you. I also wish I bloody knew that coronavirus was going to happen because I probably would have made the most of my experience more, but hey, I'm sure we could have all said that in hindsight. What is my go-to student meal? It's got to be some sort of pasta really, hasn't it? Like at the end of the day, who's not saying pasta is their go-to meal at uni? Unless it's you, then I'm sorry, but... I did actually post a tutorial on how I made that tomato chilli pasta a while back so I will link that video at the top for you to go and check out if you're interested but I post quite a lot of what I eat in the days and things if that is the sort of thing you're after. Are there many international students at Bath Uni? Well obviously it's hard for me to say personally from my point of view because although I meet a lot of people I don't know everyone at the whole uni but as far as I'm aware there's quite a lot of international students I know. I mean I would say half of my friend group in my course are international students. Obviously unfortunately I don't have that much information to give on it but as I've said I've met a lot of international students at the uni so that's one of those things. Best nightclub in Bath. God nightclubs. It's a very sore subject. Moles. I have to say moles. Oh my god I said moles. Do you want to know how many times I've been to moles nightclub? Once. Once. Twice if you can't go for drinks but not as a night out because then corona happened and I'm still saying that as my top one. I'm not sure how to feel about that. It's literally, it's a small nightclub and often they play cheesy music but there's just something about it like they always have fun drinks on. They often used to have themes and I just wish I went more because the one night out I had before corona happened was literally one of the best nights ever. So sorry Bridge. I just have to say moles. I'm sorry. I, it's got to be done. What is your favourite psychology unit so far? Okay, cast the mind back. I've got to remember what units I've had so far now. <laughs> I'm gonna say the psychology of well-being. It's really hard to point them all out because they're all so different but that was my year one semester two optional module and it was really chilled and you basically just got to learn a lot of how like manage yourself, learn about your own well-being. It was one of those ones where you can apply it and see it in day-to-day -day life which I found quite interesting. Someone asked are you constantly broke? Um, I mean, ironically, I was just talking about how Bath is more expensive. No, to be fair, I think I try quite hard to budget my money, but not to the extent where I'm restricting myself from doing things. And especially because of Corona, I feel like that's actually helped quite a lot because I literally can't go on nights out. Since lockdown has happened, I can't go and have meals unless I order something in. So I'm actually saving more this year than I'd ever anticipated I would. <laughs> the only downside is that perhaps the online orders are occurring, perhaps more so than before because we just want something to look forward to. But that's a different story. And that kind of leads on nicely to the next question which is do you have to get a job nobody has to get a job but there are opportunities available obviously you can either go just into the city of bath if you want to the university does actually have a student job website you have things like being an ambassador so for example my two housemates they're student ambassadors which involves doing work such as you know leading campus tours when people are coming to view so no you don't have to get a job but there are plenty of opportunities too if that's something you would be interested in doing do you pick your housemates first year no you don't pick your housemates if you're going into halls um i can't remember if this was bath or whether this was another uni i applied to but i know some 
mum will get you to fill out questions about yourself so they will sort of try and pair you with people that have similar interests. I think it might have been Warwick actually when I was applying to Warwick. However, obviously going into second year, you do get to pick your housemates because the likelihood is you'll be going to the city, renting private accommodation, which is what I did. I'm pretty sure that is all the questions we've covered. As I said, that was a mixture of frequently asked questions, either questions from my comments or things that people have DM'd me with. So I do hope that was helpful in some way. I know I was always looking for videos like this when I was applying to university. Let me know if you want me to do a part two of this, if there are any more questions that I can actually answer. I hope everyone is well there and I will see you in the next video because let's be honest what else have I got to do at the moment I mean to be fair I do actually have an essay to write but anyway <laughs> enjoy yourselves and I'll see you soon